What's up? We are still rolling, rolling, and doing a thing, thing. Smash the like and subscribe button. We like it when you do that. Hear that, stupid. Plus, share the content. Y'all got to share the show. Thanks for growing us, though. For real. Thanks for growing us. I'm so glad I have never done a Diddy story, and it's thanks to you all. I'm never going to do any stories about that. It, it doesn't make any sense to me. I don't care about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> gonna talk about um we just covered coach k in college basketball and i guess it's upside down land in the uk fan mind because the wildcats yeah the wild and crazy cats they uh the fan base is rabid right now so that being said we're gonna jump from college basketball and talk some NFL football. And this is actually a follow-up to the story that we've done. What? Yeah, we do follow-ups. I know. Shocking. But the Lions defensive back, Cameron Sutton, he turns himself in. Now, if you recall, Cameron Sutton, he plays for the Detroit Lions. He went to work like everything was all good. Nothing was wrong. However, they had a warrant for him in another state and they had been looking for him because he got hit with a DV, domestic violence. So that's what we call it, the DV. He got hit with the DV and he's walking around a facility like nothing's wrong. And then they had the higher ups in Detroit hit him up like, uh, hey, slick, <laughs> you want to turn yourself in? In my in my head, I have Cameron Sutton sounding like Mr. T, like "Hey, fool!" <laughs> I'll get on it. I'll get to it. I got suicides to run, fool. <laughs> I pity the fool. Uh, however, here we are. This comes out of the Guardian by way of the Associated Press is that Cameron has turned himself in, ending a week-long stretch for the former NFL defensive back who was wanted for the DV in, in Tampa, Florida. Again, how this took so long is still beyond me because he wasn't running after he caught the DV charge. He wasn't running. It was kind of like... Yeah, I'm here. I'm doing my thing. And if anybody remembers the police, they called him. And just because he wouldn't answer the phone, they was like, well, too bad. So sad. <laughs> it was clearly Keystone Coppish. But anyway, after weeks of evading law enforcement, this man has finally made the right choice to turn himself in. Now that comes from the Hillsborough County Sheriff, Mr. Chad Christener. DV has no place in our community and no one is above the law. Agreed. But let's keep the same energy for everyone. Not just one guy, but also the cops have told I mean, let's just really, I mean, let's keep the same energy for one guy. And the cops also have to hold some water on this one too because they wouldn't pursue him until he answered the phone. No joke. That was a thing. It's the very definition of keystone coppery. <laughs> we'll get more into this story when we come back from a quick 20 from an unofficial sponsor of the show. This is Big Bird and App Stupid. Drop it. BK, have it your way. You rule. Download the app, order online, or visit the good folks down at your local Burger King. Are you a Rewards Perk member? Why not? Only a few days left to play the Fiery Buffalo BK Ball sign-up. You can do that online. Also, a new digital deal from Burger King. Try the new Duo Wrap Combo. 
comes with your choice of the crispy royale the spicy royal or the honey mustard royal you get two wraps a small fry and small drink for $7.99 that is the deal currently online at BK have it your way because you rule so when we talk about Cameron Sutton turning himself in and then the Hillsboro police grandstanding talking about DV has no place in the community which I totally agree with no man should be putting his hands on a woman period I don't care who does it it's wrong Sutton's initial arrest warrant they charged him with a felony but prosecutors said Monday he was being formally charged with a misdemeanor battery which carries a maximum one year in jail sentence Sutton was released from jail on Monday on his own recognizance again no man should be choking up a woman for any reason whatsoever however the prosecutors must have seen something to change the case from a felony to a misdemeanor also he was released on his own recognizance meaning he's not a flight risk or a repeat offender prosecutors don't reduce charges and give you ROR if you're a bad guy. It's one of those things. Detroit signed Sutton to a $33 million three-year contract a year ago, although the final two years are voided after the Lions released him. There's the second shoe right there. I was waiting for that shoe to drop because he can't cause all of this mayhem and it not affect your money. Now I'm gonna say something that's not controversial, but fellas, when you make that level of paycheck, check the woman you with and the company you keep. I don't care how you met that woman or where you met her, but when there's an attachment, she's got to be queen enough not to mess up the money and you gotta be man enough not to let her. And again, I don't know either one of them or this situation, but if I got signed to a $33 million deal for three years and I got to walk a tightrope, I cannot let anybody mess with my money. I cannot feel like I'm above the law because now that the Lions have waived and they, they cut him, they don't have to pay him a dime. So all the money he got in his signing bonus and the money he got when he played for those 17 weeks last year, that's all the money he's got. And when you are walking around with a DV charge on you, no NFL team is going to go ahead and take on that kind of distraction. They don't care how good you are. And so you went from riding the idiot train to being on the fire bus. Because, hey, look, been a long time since we played this one. Drop it. Yes, Cameron Sutton, you're fired. So, learn from it, grow from it. Hopefully, an NFL uh, NFL team will give you a second shot. But I think you need to handle some things in your personal life. We got more show. Our final segment is going to wrap up with USC doing the unthinkable. This is Big Vernon at Stupid. I'll be back. I swear, I'll be back. Thank you.